Okay, so here's another car vlog. The latest report says that Apple will have the March event on March 21 now. So one week later than I have said before. And on that event, Apple is rumored to show us the four inch phone that will be called iPhone SE Special Edition. So not the iPhone 5 SE, only SE. And uh, it will look identical to the iPhone 5S. The only difference is that um, the power button will be moved to the side of the phone, exactly as it is on the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6S. And the edges will be a tiny, tiny bit rounded compared to the iPhone 5S. Otherwise, everything else looks identical. So basically you can have uh, an iPhone 5S case on the new iPhone SE. I think it's great that Apple is dropping the number from uh, the iPhone name. Hopefully they will do the same with the iPhone 7, so it will only be called the iPhone and iPhone Plus. So the naming will be as uh, it is for the MacBooks, for example. So it will be called, for example, the iPhone 2016 and so on. And on that event, Apple also is rumored to show us uh, the next 9.7 inch iPad. And uh, the latest 9.7 inch iPad we have is called iPad Air 2. But according to the latest rumors, the iPad they will show us on the March 21 event will be called iPad Pro. Exactly as the very huge and large iPad Pro only smaller so it will be identical to the iPad Pro but with a 9.7 inch display but then I don't understand how will Apple be able to release an iPad Air if they do so or will they never ever release an iPad Air again I don't know I think it's strange that they release an iPad Pro with a 9.7 inch display instead of the iPad Air 3 really. Very strange. And if Apple will release an iPad Air later on, maybe the same year, who knows, how will it differentiate it from uh, the iPad Pro, 9.7 inch iPad Pro then? How will it be different from that? I don't know. Maybe they will call the iPads that has uh, pen support and smart connector support for the Pro versions and uh, the other one for the Air version. I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Very strange to me. And on the rumored event, Apple will also show us some new options for the Apple Watch. Other watch bands, for example, a black watch band, a black Milanese loop for the Apple Watch and uh, also some other options for the uh, watch itself, other color options. So that will be interesting. But as I have said, I have always said that uh, the Apple Watch is a watch and uh, the, a watch has a very long life cycle. So I think that's why Apple don't release a new watch every year. Uh, to me, it's not necessary until at least three to four years on a watch so I won't buy a new Apple watch until uh, at least three years after I bought the first one this one and I think uh, a way to make the life cycle even longer is to release different color options and watch band options and so on because then you can make your Apple watch feel new again because you can buy new stuff for it different color options and watch bands and so on. So I think that's a brilliant idea from Apple. But one thing I think it's really strange is that we haven't seen any leaks, any rumors about the second generation of the 12 inch MacBook. When Apple will have this event on March 21, it is exactly one year since they released the first generation of the 12 inch MacBook. So it's time to release the second generation now so I wish for that Apple will show us the second generation 12 inch MacBook on that event 
But uh, I think it's strange that we haven't seen any leaks or rumors about it whatsoever. The, the only one that has written and talked about this is me. I haven't found any other information or anyone else talking about the second generation 12-inch MacBook. No one talks about it. I think that's strange because it's an awesome device and I think the second generation will be incredibly good. I'm sure of that. I think uh, the processor will be much better and the battery life even better and so on. So uh, I am planning to buy the second generation 12-inch MacBook because I am doing an experiment at the moment and I call it back to the Mac and I like using my 11-inch MacBook Air from 2012 again after being post PC for two whole years. I enjoying using a Mac again. So hopefully Apple will present the second generation of the 12-inch MacBook on this event and uh, release it uh, maybe in the summer or or something. So I wish I will see some more rumors and leaks about it now. So I'm sure of that Apple will release the second generation. Hopefully Apple haven't scratched the idea of the 12 inch MacBook because I really like it. But maybe they will just release some new MacBook Air this year and uh, MacBook Pros and not the 12 inch MacBook. I hope not because I'm planning to buy the second generation 12 inch MacBook and if they won't release one this year I won't buy it because I won't buy the first generation. I won't because I'm waiting for the second generation. To me the 12 inch MacBook is the perfect companion to the iPhone 6s Plus and my Apple Watch. It's like an iPad with uh, a keyboard attached. A more professional iPad than the iPad Pro even. So to me the 12 inch MacBook is the perfect mobile portable device. You can have it with you always everywhere with a very long battery life and so on and you can have it comfortably in your knee and so on working on it. Much easier to work on it than the iPad Pro because the iPad Pro is so huge so you have to have a, a case for it, a smart keyboard case for example and when you have uh, the smart keyboard case attached to the iPad Pro it's not as easy to have it in your knee working on it so having the 12 inch MacBook is much easier to have in your knee or on your stomach when you're lying down in the bed for example. So I prefer using uh, the MacBook over the iPad Pro so I also have my iPad Air 2 and it's an excellent device, no problem at all, still powerful enough and all that. So if I need to be even more portable than the 12 inch MacBook, I can use that if I want. But uh, I prefer using the iPhone 6s Plus then because everything I don't do on the 12 inch MacBook, I will do on the iPhone 6s Plus preferably. So. That's why I'm planning to buy the second generation 12 inch MacBook. I'm really excited over it even, so it will be awesome to have that device. Okay, bye.